Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another server admin tutorial or bucket spigot plugin tutorial. If you're joining for the first time, feel free to hit that subscribe button because I do these every week. If you have a suggestion of a plugin you'd like me to do, feel free to comment that in the jibbles below. That would be the comment section for you new people or the description box, depending on the context. But anyway, comment that. I'll give you, I'll capture that, give you a shout out right now. We're kind of on a, we're pretty close to finishing up this uh, scheduled um, plugin thing that you guys all voted on. So that was fun. I'll probably do that again in a few weeks. Anyway, this one is actually Locket. Although, if you're looking at the th thing, I never remember. I think it's over here. Maybe. Um, if you're looking at the schedule, um, I'm supposed to be doing Quick Shop. However, that one is abandoned. It has not been updated. Well, it was abandoned, then somebody picked it up, and then they couldn't update it to 1.8, so I skipped it. And then I was going to try a different one, but I needed to contact the author because it's a paid plugin. It'll be like, I think the first paid plugin I'll do, not the last. I plan on doing Auto Cell as well, which is a great plugin. Um, and that was Animated MOTD, Meshes of the Day. So hopefully that, that's coming up. So here it is, Locket, as suggested by Naj Bolji, which I think is actually great, means like great or something. Uh, Exploding Creeper, which is given and then the diamond sword of lori cool thank you guys for suggesting that this is a shout out to you guys this is made by acru jovian and it is currently managed by vk2gpz i don't I, there's no vowels in that so I, I don't know what to pronounce that so anyway this what this plugin does is it locks chests um it's a way that your users can lock chests doors um Pretty much just chests and doors. Furnaces, ender chests probably. No, I don't think ender chests. You don't really need to lock ender chests. But anyway, it supports permissions, so you can you know, put your permissions up. It can reference groups, you, so your users can put groups on their chests. That would allow certain groups to have access to it. It, it syncs with townie, so uh, people in your town can can join or can access the stuff simple clans so that people in your clan can access stuff factions lwc which is a great plugin as well and then register which i think is an economy plugin i'm I, i'm not sure i've never heard of that one it does however conflict with chess shop anything that requires any kind of sign interaction or sign editing um, will mess up it does work with colored signs though so the way that this works is you're just going to, you can either put it right on the chest or you can put it right in front of the chest. You're going to put bracket private in front of it. And then that's pretty much all you need to put. And then that's it. If you want to add more people, like you want to give access to other people, you can put um, them on the, the second or the third or fourth line. Or if you want to add groups, you can do, if you want to open this up to everyone, like maybe this is on protected land, but you want everybody to grab it. You can put that in there, or if you want only operators, but the operators by default will have access anyway, you need to put operators in there. Or if you want a group to have access to it, you can put that in there. So if you have moderators, if that's the name of the group, they have access to it, or whatever it is. Like we have the ally donors um, or the buddy donors, we could put that in there, which is really cool. Um, and then we'll just hit done. So there we go. Now I have. I have my trusty sidekick, Evil Doppel Gamer here, and uh, he can't access it. But if I click, like, if I look at the sign, I could do locket uh, line number. We're gonna add it line number one, two, three, yeah, three. And then we're gonna put in Evil Doppel. I I can never spell it. So select a sign by right clicking it. There we go. So now we right click on the sign. And then we can edit that. We put them on there, which is really cool that you could do that without having to destroy and reopen sign. Now he can access that, and he gets access to all the boats and hose. Shout out to Mumbo on that one. You may notice that there's only two two lines on here for for users if you want to share this out. If you want to share it out to more people, you can put this sign over here, and you could do more users, and then you could add more users on more lines over here and um you put the groups on there in lines two three and four and i think that there's no real limit on this so let's try this 
more users. It just has to be on the same area, yeah. So you could add a lot of people to chess, which is really cool. For doors, I'm not really gonna show that one, but for doors, you just put the sign above or below it. Um, it has to be above or below. If you have a double door, you only have to put one side. It'll link the doors, it'll know what to do. So we wanna put private, and then that'll lock the door, although there's nothing on each side. But another thing you could do is you could put a timer on it. So if you do timer, colon, and then um, two seconds, that way the door is gonna stay open for two seconds and it'll automatically reclose, uh, which is really cool. And then once again, uh, our, but our evil dop, dop can't, you don't have permission to use this door. So. That's really cool. Um, the timer by default is already set up. You can shorten it or extend it if you'd like. Um, that's what that that overrides it. That's all we got for in game. So let's hop over to the config file and uh, talk about that. So here's our server. We're gonna go into the plugins folder and then you drop your locket in there and then it'll create. You start and stop your server and then it'll create the this in here. And now the strings .yml is gonna be the the text for everything, it's um, that's pretty cool. So you can change how everything looks, uh, any of the messages that go on, which is really cool. You can change the language, which there's quite a few languages available. Um, and we're gonna hop over to config file. Like, there's not a whole lot to do in here. By default, you wanna enable this if you're on 1.8, which I really hope you are. So enable that to true. Another one that I um, enabled was this admin snoop. Um, as far as the permissions one, it's not enabled by default, that's false. You really don't need to do anything with permissions, it just kind of gets up and goes, which is great. Ops automatically have access to all they need. But if you want to give your uh, mods at like admin rights to chess so they can look at other people's chests to verify stuff, um, you want to turn that on true and then I'll, I'll tell you about the permission nodes here in a second. Um, enable trap doors. That's right. You can also protect trap doors. I forgot about that. Um, and then you can also put in a whole custom lockable block list. So if you want to add blocks that you want people to be able to lock, like uh, I'm, I'm think of one of these is probably an enchanting table, stuff like that. You can link plugin lists to ignore, and then you could say you could tell what groups to broadcast things to. Uh, everyone is a default group. Operators is a default group. But you can put I. I'm imagining you can put your permissions groups in there as well, mod, moderators, whatever you call that in there, and then the strings file name, which is that English one. So that's all, not a whole lot to do. Let's jump back over to the game, talk about permissions and wrap it up. Okay, so here we are back in the game here. And uh, so let's, let's move over here and then um, talk about the permissions. They're pretty basic. The locket.user.create.star is what, if you enable permissions, you gotta give your default group that permission. And then the admins one is locket.create. Uh, or sorry, locket.admin.create.star, and that gives them access to all the admin commands. Then you got locket.admin.break, or .bypass, or .snoop, or .reload, and those are all pretty self-explanatory. I think that if you just do locket help, you should be able to see a whole lot of other stuff that you can uh, do. You could do locket fix to fix doors that if, if it's in the wrong position, you can reload. You'd see some of the, ver the version stuff, which is really cool. The big thing is editing size. That's awesome. That I really like that. Anytime that you could do that without having to break and reload that sign side note on the signs only the owner or the person who placed it would be able to break it and um but world edit will bypass that so hopefully you guys found that helpful that's all i got for you this week feel free to like comment and subscribe this is Kyle from mcfriends reminding you all enjoy the game god bless